Hello and thank you for viewing. This is going to be a name your weapon free for all. I'm running Slippery Bastard. I need to get one hip fire kill. However, when I'm playing this match, I actually think I need to get three hip fire kills. So you're going to see me going for three of them. And the first one proves to be a little tricky and difficult for me to get because I, for one, normally don't hip fire unless I'm using my sawed offs and I'm really close to somebody in like a melee altercation. So you can see there, I totally whiffed. I'm a uh, potato aim when it comes to hip firing, especially with this gun, because I'm not real familiar with using this shotgun. And then I hear, you know, I, I run up into the back of a wagon on accident. That's something that I see Hazard complain about frequently, is the auto vaulting in this game. I was watching his stream last night, and he actually was talking about peak condition and I got to thinking about that so I'm actually trying it in this match too where while you're sprinting you use less stamina and do more damage the more stamina you have now I don't really care so much about doing more damage but the idea of using less stamina really appealed to me because my character I keep at maximum weight I want that extra 7.5 percent damage reduction from having maximum weight because if you didn't know there are two different weights that your character can have. You can be underweight. Well, I guess there's way more than two. It goes in 0.75% increments. Zero is perfect weight. And then when you go below zero, you go underweight. You can go all the way down to a negative 7.5 to where you take more damage when you get shot. But when you run... You, you lose less stamina while you run when you're underweight. However, when you're overweight, you can go up to 7.5% more damage reduction to take more damage, but you use more stamina while you're running. So I'm thinking like peak condition is a great way to offset the negative attribute of being overweight. And then I can sprint more without having to drink so many bitters or so much cocaine gum. And I really, really liked the effect that it had in this match. Now, all of my cards are Tier 3, so... And I've used Peak Condition before in the past. It's just I kind of got away from it because they made some changes to it. When they made some changes to it, the card was not lighting up, up in the right corner. And I wasn't even really sure if it was working or not. And if I'm not sure a card's working, then I'm really not too content on using it. I want to use something that I know is definitely going to work because then I know I'm getting a benefit from it. And now I've gotten to the point here in the match where I'm just going to start mowing people down with the shotgun. I just spawned in after a death. I had the bow, which the bow would have given me the win. When I spawned in with the shotgun, it was 18 to 36 was my score versus the leader. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to close that gap, I think, to like within seven at some point here. I really thought for a moment I had a chance at coming back and pulling off the win here. But you're going to see in a little bit, I end up getting to a point where I'm just running around trying to find somebody because they're just spawning in the other side of the map from me and they're killing each other. So they just start racking up some points real quick and I get nothing of it. It's just part of the game. I'm not heartbroken. I had a really good time playing this match. This run here was a lot of fun for me. Just like mowing through these guys one after another. It, it was I was getting real tickled with this until the point where like now where I'm just like where'd everybody go and the point spread out on me there but that's okay it was good times we're almost out of time see there's only 44 seconds left in the match so it's looking unlikely that I'm gonna come back and get the win here but it sure would have been nice. I would have loved to show you guys a win as well as my hip fire kills. And I didn't even really get much of an opportunity to talk about the hip fire kills. If you're here wondering what the hip fire kill is, then what that is is you fire without using your left trigger, just your right trigger, where you're not looking down sights. And it's just like a, a free aim kind of firing where you're just like firing from the hip. You know, just as it, it says. You can see there, the match ended for me, but it went into sudden death. So, two of the leaders were actually fighting neck and neck. It actually was a really good game. Especially when I 
you know, went for that push to come back at the end. That probably made both of them a little nervous because they were fighting for the lead. Four people at five people kind of at the top of the board, really neck and neck. Six, I mean, like we were all pretty close there. That was a good game, guys. Thanks everyone for viewing, commenting, subscribing, liking, sharing, and especially thank you to everyone that's joined. I appreciate all of you. I'll catch you next time. Until then, happy hunting and happy trails.